So it is time for the Mormons versus the Mullets part two here in 2022 as we have got the number 19 ranked Brigham Young Cougars taking on the Coastal Carolina Chanteliers. Should be a good one here. Of course, BYU 4-0 and for Coastal, they are 1-1 with their only loss being to UCLA and the only win being against Texas El Paso in overtime. But obviously this is a rematch of 2020. It was that weird game between BYU and Coastal Carolina where both of those teams were scheduled against different opponents to start the week, but then they switched their opponents because of you know COVID whatever restrictions and then eventually BYU and Coastal play each other it was crazy Coastal ended up winning I think yeah 22 to 17 both teams were undefeated it did away really with BYU's playoff hopes that season but for this season BYU number 19 after beating last week number five Utah yeah we only went from what 22 to 19 absolutely ridiculous is also we have Jaron Hall who is currently the Heisman favorite over a guy like Travion Henderson from Ohio State Hall is currently the favorite because he has been balling this season so far put the team on his back for that game in the Holy War last week against the Utah Utes. You look at the passing leaders in all of college football and Jaron Hall is number three. 1,030 passing yards, eight touchdowns for Jaron Hall, but he's also going to get done on the ground as well. So we'll check that in a second. I mean, Hall basically rated the best passer in all the game right now other than Bryce Young. Passing yards, of course, in third. Touchdowns, he won't have him too much through the air because on the ground, he's second in all of college football right now, only behind Travion Henderson, who's one of the leaders for the Heisman for Ohio State. So Jaron Hall is putting up numbers. We're on the road here in Coach. Coastal Carolina. Again, same setting like it was just a couple years ago. Looking for some revenge here in the game of the Mullets versus the Mormons. Number 19 BYU taking on unranked Coastal Carolina, who's always one of the favorites to win the Sun Belt year in and year out. It should be a good one, though, here again on the road for Brigham Young. And folks, if you haven't yet, make sure that subscribe button down below for some more college football revamp. Join NCAA 23 here on the channel with the BYU Dynasty. We've been posting some other college football revamp content here on the channel as well. We did a Caleb Williams college career simulation. So that link will be in the description down below. And also, um, 60 likes on this video between BYU and Coastal Carolina for the next BYU game. We will be going on the road to Utah State. So another Utah rivalry game for Brigham Young next week. We're already 1-0 against Utah. I believe Utah State already lost Utah as well. So it should be a game that we should be able to go out there and take care of business on the road against the Aggies. But all of our attention tonight goes to Coastal Carolina and their star quarterback in Grayson McCall. McCall can get it done on the ground. And he can get it done in the passing game too. So it should be a good matchup. We'll see if BYU's defense can hold up against this Coastal squad. You know the offense is always going to be out there. They put up more than, I believe, what, 38 points in every single game so far. So here we are from Brooks Stadium here in South Carolina. Getting the football first. It will be the Cougars. Here comes Jared Hall from zone 20-yard line. Dropping back, looking to throw it. Jared Hall to his right. We'll get it to his running back in Christopher Brooks and the former Cal Bear product is going to pick up again at 14. It'll be a first and 10 from the 35-yard line. Handoff going to Chris Brooks. Up the middle again. Look at Brooks go. First down a gain of 11. Another first down for BYU. First and 10 for Hall. Katoa now in the game at running back, and Hall's going to look to his left, and he will get it to Gunnar Romney. However, Romney injured on the play, and he will be out for the entire game with an injury suffered on that play. So Romney's done for the day, but he picks up a first down before he exits. Now a deep shot. Keanu Hill. Oh, and a 39. Hill is going to drop it. It will be a fourth and nine for BYU. They'll keep the offense on the field for a fourth and nine. Hall looking to throw and up the middle. He has got down Holker. Holker for the first down. He'll continue this BYU drive after a gain of 21. The Cougars have now got it in the red zone for a first and 10. Hall in a read option. He's going to keep looking to work. Jared Hall is going to be in there. Hall with the 13-yard touchdown puts BYU up early, 7 to nothing here on the road at Coastal Carolina in the Mormons versus the Mullets Part 2. Here comes Grayson McCall, though, and this Coastal offense on a third and four. He's going to let one fly. That one will be all oh, picked off. It's intercepted by Hayes, and Brigham Young takes it away just like that from McCall in the offense. Caleb Hayes in the pick is going to get us the football back from our own 35-yard line. Jaron Hall in a third and seven will look to his right, and he will complete that pass to Keanu Hill. Hill making up for that drop earlier on in the game. Again, 10 in the first down at four. Brigham Young now first and 10 at four. Hall, play action fake, looking to throw Jaron Hall to his right. Still looking, and he will shake off a tackle, but now he's brought down. Big sack by Coastal, and Jaron Hall is going to get hurt on that play as well. 
So here comes the backup quarterback and Jacob Conover, by the way, Jaron Hall out for the game with a mild concussion. He should be back next week for the Utah State game, but good pass there to Hagen for a game of 26. Just a huge blow for BYU early though, because no Jaron Hall. Here comes Conover. He's going to complete one to Chris Brooks for a gain of nine. You're just hoping that doesn't really affect Jaron Hall's Heisman candidacy, really, because you know the season he's been having, you hate for it to really be ruined with this, you know, missing three quarters on the road here at Coastal. Third and inches now for Conover and the offense will be a handoff to Chris Brooks. Brooks has got the first and more as he's brought down about the two yard line. A gain of eight right there for Brigham Young. Second and goal. Conover going to hand it off to Katoa. And he's in there. Two yard touchdown run for Brigham Young as they've now got up 14 to nothing here on the road early. Coastal Carolina yet to complete a pass, yet to get a first down. And on a second and 10, it'll be a triple option. Grayson McCall going to keep. He'll shake off a tackle. And there will be the first Coastal Carolina first down of the game as the shots will take him all the way down to the 45 yard line with a big gain right there at 20 for Grayson McCall. Second and four handoff. It is going to Bennett and he's off to the races. It'll be a big first down right there for Braden Bennett. Again, a 16 for Coastal as we'll go into the second quarter. 14 and nothing hour score for the Cougars. Looking at good early here on the road. So here come the shots on a second and 13, and McCall on a speed option, trying to pitch it to his running back. That one is blown up, though. Wilger going to pick it up, and he's gone. The linebacker's got it over midfield. Now into Coastal Carolina territory. Nobody's going to stop him. 21-0 for the Brigham Young Cougars. Peyton Wilger with the scoop and score touchdown, and BYU is up 21-0 with the shots getting it back on a third and five. McCall looking to dump it off. He has guys running back right there, but it will only be a gain of two for Reese White. So BYU gets it back again, up by three touchdowns on a third and two. Conover with the handoff to Katoa, and there he goes. Off to the races, Katoa, down to the 15-10, trying to make it 28 nothing. Try to stay on his feet. Oh, he's brought down at the one. It'll be a first and goal for BYU, as here we go. It'll be out the gun speed option. Conover going to take it himself. Touchdown, Brigham Young again. I mean, they are running away with this thing here on the road. 28 nothing, and we just started the second quarter. I mean, it is a shame this team is only 19 in the country. They are truly a top 10 team in the nation. They should be, honestly, a top five team after their victory over Utah last week as, okay, we can't bring um, the Coastal receiver down to the ground here. Pickney still on his feet. It'll be a 23-yard gain there for Coastal Carolina as they finally worked it into the red zone at second and six handoff. It, it'll be Bennett on the carry. He'll stiff arm a defender, and Braden Bennett's got a gain of seven, getting Coastal Carolina within the five-yard line for a first and goal from the gun. McCall hands it off. Braden Bennett. Bennett, he is in there. Coastal Carolina will trim this lead down to 21 after Braden Bennett's four-yard touchdown run. But here comes Conover and the Brigham Young offense on a second and 10. Conover going to escape to his right. Will he look to run? He will. Conover trying to stay on his feet. Oh, he does. Makes two men miss. Conover to the outside. He'll get over midfield. Oh, he'll fumble. But out of bounds. It'll be a 34-yard gain right there on the run for Jacob Conover. First and 10 now for the Cougars. Conover to his right. Perfect ball. Great grabber right there by Cody Hagan. It'll be again a 13 for Brigham Young as they've worked it down to 25 for a second and 10 at Conover to his left. That ball is caught. Keanu Hill with the grab and 16 down to the eight yard line. Second goal for BYU. Conover going to keep yet again. Does he have touchdown number two? Yes, he does. Jacob Conover gets back in with a four yard rushing touchdown. 35 to seven for BYU here in the first half as Coastal Carolina. Oh, McCall going to shake off a tackle over the middle. He has got Pickney and Pickney might be gone. It looks like Coastal is going to get that touchdown right back. They will. Sam Pickney with a 66-yard touchdown makes it 35-14 to going into the halftime locker rooms. Nothing less, though, BYU still up by 21 points, but 35-14 to is our score for the Cougars as we look now on forward to this third quarter. Looking good for BYU, of course. Coastal, you can never count them out with Grayson McCall leading the helm at quarterback, but the offenses look really good for BYU. Same thing we said about the defense. Let's now go to the third quarter. So the shots get the football first here from their own 20 yard line. It'll be a handoff to Rashad White. White's got the first down and he's still going. White now over midfield down to the 45 40. Look at him go. White in open space will get him all the way down to the 30 yard line. Big gain right there for Coastal Carolina. Now on a speed option, McCall's going to pitch again. White has got it. Good block up field by Bennett and White's going to take it all the way to the house. Reese White, I called him Rashad earlier. Reese White getting in the end zone. 29-yard touchdown for the Shants. And just like that, man, 
14 point game. BYU's got to put some points on the board after two straight Chantelier touchdowns. First and 10 for Conover looking to run. He's got the first down and more. I mean, he's having his way on the run game. Obviously, that's Jaron Hall's thing as well, but Conover with a big gain at 22. It'll be a first and 10 from the 45. He'll swing it to his left. Kind of a design screen for Chris Brooks, but Brooks has got the first down. Yes, he will. Gain of 11 right there for the Cougars as they've worked it again in now to Chantelier territory. First and 10. Conover keeps yet again. Coastal biting on the run game of Chris Brooks. They weren't earlier with Jaron Hall. They were kind of waiting on Hall to respond. They're responding to what Hall would do if he would pull or not. But, you know, Conover really not giving him too much respect as Coastal Carolina, even though Conover sacked right there. It'll be a fourth and 22. We'll bring up the kick team for a 50 yard field goal. The kick is up. Too short. Wow. It's still a 14 point game, and Coastal Carolina will get the football from the 35 yard line. And now Grayson McCall has got a man wide open. Coleman on the streak route. Nobody even near him. No one picked up DeAndre Coleman as the Chanteliers go now from once down 35 to 7. Now it's 35 28. They've scored 21 unanswered points. Conover gonna have to do something here. I mean, good read right there on the read option. Honestly, we should just stick with this the entire game. And Conover with 80 rushing yards. He's putting the team on his back right now in Phil of Jaron Hall. He's gonna, yeah, I mean, he's just not the passer Hall is though. Incomplete on third and three. We're gonna go for it on fourth and three. Keep it on the ground here. Let Conover run. He, that's what he's been doing best. He's gonna pick up the first down. He finds the gap. First down and a seven yard run for Jacob Conover. Now a third and five though from the 30. Conover looking to throw it, scrambling to his right. Jacob Conover, nowhere to go with the football and he'll just take the sack. Ball's out. Oh my goodness. The Chandler's pick it up. Robertson's got it. We have got to find a way to bring him down because the Chandler's got the ball deep into BYU territory. He's tripped up at the 26. And the Coastal Carolina Chanteliers have a chance to put up 28 unanswered points here at home and take the lead or tie this game right now. But oh, never mind, that ball's picked. Read perfectly on the screen and right in the hands of Chaz Ayu. Ayu with the interception, and he gets it right back for Brigham Young. The Chanteliers is unable to take advantage right there of the great field positioning, and BYU will get it back from that 45-yard line. Handoff Chris Brooks. Again, we've been really just keeping it on the ground. Don't feel too great in Conover's ability to throw the football. So a second and eight here, last play of the third quarter. Conover keeps yet again on the read option. So we've been talking about right on that play Carolina earlier on in this game was waiting basically on um on Jaron Hall this time Conover is able to keep on the read option big gain of 38 yards as we get him down to the one yard line and that's will close the third quarter seven point lead for BYU 35 28 going into the fourth quarter so a second and goal here for BYU Conover out the gun read option he'll keep he just needs a break and tackle he will big run for Jacob Conover his third of the game makes it 42 to 28 for BYU. What a great job he has done in relief of Jaron Hall. It's a 14 point game, but here come the Chanteliers on a third and four. They'll hand it off. Oh my goodness. Reese White looks to jump over somebody, but he just eats crap on the way down. He's got nine carries for 120 yards, but here's the game really. Fourth and seven for Coastal. It's a screen. McCall nowhere to go, and he's sacked. Grayson McCall is dropped, and that should probably do it. I mean, BYU's got the football back here in a first and 10. Jacob Conover looking to run. He's going to bring it up field. Big first down, down to the 10-yard line. So again, a 12 right there for Brigham Young. A touchdown should really do it. But a third and 19, Conover looking to get it off. He will to Chris Brooks. But Brooks will be brought down at the 16-yard line. It's fine, though. We'll just kick a field goal if we can hit this. We'll be up by 17. This should really do it for the game. Olroyd has got it. It's a 17-point lead now for BYU as our score is 45-28. to Coastal Carolina, though, has quickly worked it back into BYU territory on a first and 10. Grayson McCall looking over the middle. He will find his receiver in Mobley. It will be Tyson Mobley on the grab from Grayson McCall. I mean, Coastal makes it a 10-point game, 45-35, but BYU gets the football back. They've worked it to a third and 11 after the onside kick recovery. Conover looking to throw. He just needs something here. He's going to run. Look at Jacob Conover getting on the ground. Oh, he stands on his feet. Jacob Conover has got touchdown number four. Oh, my goodness. The future looks bright here in Provo as Jacob Conover is going to scramble for the touchdown. BYU goes up 52-35. They're well on their way to start their season 5-0. And there's the pick to seal it. Wilker picks off Grayson McCall. And that's your ball game. The BYU Cougars will go on the road. Peyton Wilger with a great game defensively, a scoop and score touchdown, and an interception to ice the game. And all the credit in the world to Jacob Conover. 173 rushing yards, four rushing touchdowns. He had 100 yards passing as well, but he's really a run first option here tonight, considering 
I mean, I really didn't feel too comfortable letting Conover throw the football because really he's not too great throwing the football. It's more Jared Hall's thing, but Conover having a lot of success in the ground game and Brigham Young stays undefeated as they go on the road 52-35 and beat Coastal Carolina. They will win the rematch of the Mormons versus the Mullets and they get some revenge for Zach Wilson and the boys back there in 2020. Of course, that game ruined BYU's playoff hopes that season. For now, BYU is still alive in the college football playoff hunt as they go on the road and they take down the Coastal Carolina shot to leaders before the matchup next week on the road at Utah State against the Mountain West own in the Aggies. But still a really good game for BYU here. I mean, you look at Coastal Carolina. This is a team that did come back. They scored, what, 21 on answer. They had, a, they had a point in this game where they could have taken the lead or tied this game up if they scored 28 straight. But really, the Chaz Ayu interceptions would turn this game around. I mean, it was looking like it was going south for BYU until Ayu got the interception. He runs, the, he reads the screen completely correctly, gets the pick, gets us the football back. It's a tough play to make. He's a really good football player and a really good football team. I'm um, with Grayson McCall and the Coastal Carolina Chanteliers. So folks, thank you for watching episode number five of the BYU Cougars Dynasty Mode here on NCAA College Football 13. If you haven't yet though, or 23, my goodness. If you haven't yet though, make sure that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure you like if you did enjoy the video. Again, 60 likes in this video for Utah State versus BYU as soon as possible. Again, look, Sam, for watching and Mamba forever.